you to the Azam Uganda Premier League match of the day. It is a big one here in Ugandan football. It brings you, uh, that is the Vipers Sports Club up against KCCA Football Club. This game is coming to you live from the beautiful St. Mary's Stadium in Chitende. And of course, we anticipate uh, one of the best games in Uganda for a very, very long time because whoever wins today may actually guarantee his stake on top of the table. And just look at the KCCA fans on the other side. Okello, the genius, is actually one of the message being protruded there on the T-shirt. And look at how they're having a very good party on the side of KCCA Fiona. Yeah, with the points separating the teams, Vipers in number of one course. and with lots of laws. Uh, you can't say, uh, coming in, Shaban Mohamed uh, went through on Ruparaka and now at their rival's uh, place, KCCA FC. We're up here in St. Mary's Stadium, Chitende. It's the Vipers at home against KCCA. And the game is more of like a final. Kenya. Government then so got look on. Somebody loses possession. Seki Sambu and Issa. It is Seki Sambu. What can he do? He strikes over the bar. Surely you cannot get it just like that against KCCA. That was a gift come early. Christmas coming early in April. And at the end of the day, look at how he blasts his Christmas present over Fekuna. Musamali is lucky this doesn't go in. Poor defending, poor reading of the game. Definitely he fails to clear. And Seki Sambu also fails to well, do what he does. Spat away. Spattling around. Mustafa Chiza. A chance for Chirabida. And goes outside there for goal kick. First decent chance you could see Fambo. And Okello dodges one. It's Alan Okello. Okello crops in one straight away to Watenga. Good hands there from Watenga. Chops one in very disappointingly. Scores away there for a goal kick. Actually, one moment actually complains that he was being held. No, leave alone being held. But in one way. side going down very, very easily. Obenchan once again becomes prey. Slight push, but Ali Sabila just uh, uh, taking a close look for one of the best players Vipers have had in the last month. Duncan Seninde. That's Gilbert Obenchan killing the aftermath of that tackle. Timothee Wanyi goes long. Oh, yes, comes Shaban Mohamed! It's in! All alone, Shaban Mohamed scores his 11th goal of the season. What a start for the former Viper student, Shabani Mohamed. Knocks in a header from a cross that actually came in from the best deliverer, Mustafa Chiza. Delivered by Mustafa, scored by Shaban, KCC leading. Well planned by Mike Mutevi and Shaban executes so well to score his 11. It was such a tight angle, but Shaban is cut back so good. Just look at Timothawani, the ball goes into the box, and Shaban, Ismail Watem already beaten, he did flex maximumly. But Shaban being so free, just look at him, realizes Watenga is beaten from such a tight angle, brings back the ball and goes to the opposite of the net. Believe me, what a great goal and what good game reading. This is sheer brilliance coming in from the young lad. Timothy Awani was the one that actually made that cross. So you have to give him credit for that, not Mustafa Chiza. Away by Asiku. Now Sechi Sambu, all alone Sechi Sambu, what can he do? Can they respond very quickly? It's Sechi Sambu, it's a chance here, Musei cannot score! Surely Musei, Dan Serenkuma. Well, Vipers will have themselves for not taking their chances like KCC. Yeah, though, what happens? Why didn't he shoot first time? His legs froze for a while. But believe me, such some tried to amend the mistakes from a missing a one glorious chance. And for Muse, he should have shot, should have but, shot. But Chidabir and the rest came as Vipers get a corner. Not executed. Can Tadao rebound? Well, he does it. They have a chance. A chance in Kalisa joins the battle for who is top scorer in the Ugandan league. Believe me, neck to neck. And KCC uh, failed to defend. Vipers respond just from missing. Milton Kalisa makes sure that is accomplished. Just look from the corner. Moses Weiser swings in. Vipers fail to clear. Tadeo Ranga brings it in. And believe me, Kalisa follows up and it goes in lingering. 
it is a goal and it is 1-1 after just 14 minutes. Are we having another thriller of goals like we had for KCC URA in the last game? Well, this took those days when I used to be an athlete and my name was being chatted. I stop lying, us and let's enjoy the game. God, you didn't even make it to the parish level, and you're here telling us how good you are in football. We should have had records. Go to National Council, you'll find my record there. Ooh, look at the rugby match now. <laughs> I don't know exactly whether this match will end, but ooh, look at this again from Shabani yeah, Muhammad. No, but Tadeo Luanga slapped first. Tadeo Luanga slapped first, so it should be fair play between both teams. Yeah, it should be both teams. And uh, yeah, Shaban is complaining of Tadeo's a tremendous fouling. I believe it is too bad to retaliate. Tadeo is play acting. He slapped Shaban first. And with the player, Tadeo is playing his cards well, knowing that Shaban Mohamed is one player who really, really loses his temper. Here we go. This is where the element was. Miss and a pull from Tadeo on Shaban there. And actually on Okello. And this is where the incident is. Shaban goes to Tadeo there. Look at this. Look at, oh, the headers there. I don't oh. think that whatever Shaban did to Tadeo was close enough to get him to uh, going down in that way. But uh, that's what you do in football. And just look at Shaban, given a yellow card and Tadeo. Good one from Dr. Ali Sabila. You can see recalling the last yes, foul. Good officiation. Yeah, good officiation from Dr. Ali Sabila. I don't know why Tadeo is complaining, but whatever it is, uh, believe me, it is good for a day. They can now control whatever they are doing. Well, they need to come down, those two. Tadeo Luanga, the midfield, and of course, Shaban Muhammad, the striker. Well, as we speak right now, Shaban Muhammad actually equals tallies of goals, just like Muzaid and Serikuma, 11 apiece. Well, we? Mustafa Chiza. Copy that ball to Kenya. It's a shot from Uchirezi. Good save. Look at those magnetic arms there. That's why he saw a good goal in. Kadisa again, Sechisambu. And there's a call for a foul, and it will be a KCC air ball. Tadeo Luanga, Jose Dancer Kuma can beat with pace. Unfortunately, his legs give up. But again, very good backtracking from Filbert Obenchen. Topping up on Jose Dancer Kuma. Good sense of gravity that he has. Unfortunately, it wasn't with him. Musei, it's Musei. Musei looking for space. Musei deflects for a corner. Well, it's very, very slippery. Musei dancer Kuma. Now Adada goes for the short punch to where by Lukwako. Now if it went and it went in. Charles Ufabu does better, and Musei follows the rebound. Oh, he does well, Musei. Lays it back. Inside the box there, it's a chance for Kalisa, it's a shot, it's in! Erisa Sechisapu scores at the death of half time. Bypass to KCCA1. You could see that the Venoms were probing and probing, waiting for their prey to come out. And boom, they took it up. And that is what they call Fimbu ni Fimbu, and that's how they dance it. Well, good celebration coming at the death, and very good football portrayed by the Venoms, but also Musei putting a lot on it. You could see uh, that Duncan came onto it, and the cutback to uh, Sachi Sam, who has freely marked in the box, goes for a ground shot, and this beats Charles Mukwago, who had read wrong the plight of the ball. But poor defending, the time Milton Kalisa got back, Believe me, Mustafa Chiza did not react well. The celebration says it all. Such Sam makes amends for the first miss and then finishes off the happy in style. The fans, of course, thank him for that. The Venoms come from behind to lead KCC by a goal. It is two for Vipers and KCC are chasing. Sambi looking to Milton Kalisa. Keeps the ball back. Musei dancer Rukuma brings it back as a chance for the shot. Oh, what's the post there? What a cracker it would have been if it went in. Well, oh, more. Sechi Sambu tries to look for Milton Kalisa. Kalisa launches. Musei Dansa Rukuma. It's bubbling and no, it doesn't go in. If that had actually gone in, it would be a beautiful piece of art there from Musei Dansa Rukuma. A brilliant player is Vial. Uchirezi. 
Launches that ball on the wing side. Kadu Muturesi straight away. Nobody there to notch. Well, how lucky can you be? And Muturesi cannot believe that he actually felt Misses. to notch that one in. The former student of St. Mary's Stadium, sorry, St. Mary's Kitende. Mustafa sweeping ball in just for the end of the line. Shaban Muhammad surely denied again, if I'm not mistaken. You should be seeing that on the replay there, but uh, either Shaban or Kadu, one of those two were denied from the defense. Look at this, Shaban was pushed there, so it was Kadu Patrick. Oh my god, what a great head I should have been, but also great defending from the captain, Nicolas Wadada. Yes, not taking his eyes off the ball. Now, as Timothy will deliver his a free kick. Oh, chance for the head out straight to the goalkeeper is Mawatenga. The Vipers will be substituting Moses Waiswa. That will be the second player to be substituted. But look at this again, very easy, easy one. Learning to... Oh, now Mose... Yayo. Now Yayo, inside the box, Yayo, lays it in! It's a chance for Kanisa! Milton Kanisa Boris kisses his hopes in this match with a super leg ball into the back of the net. It's Vipers 3, KCC A1. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is Kitende lit with red today? Yeah. <laughs> and Tebe Road is red, but what a goal and what a waiting. Milton Kalisa got the chance. You could see him. He hesitated for a few seconds and decided to shoot at the back of the net. Charles Lukwag had already come out uh, to follow the ball, but here your team by the provider and Milson Kalisa shows everyone that Vipers is the badge. Top of the table they remain. I believe me, KCC may not come back from two goals down with just nine minutes left to be played for. Just look at Kalisa, control with the left and sweep with the right, but Yael Timba being the provider, great play in the box and believe me, what a patience they played with. They let KCC attack, attack and when they get a chance, the chance goes in. It is three for the Venoms and one for KCC. Mike Mutebi will not like to hear this. Well, nine minutes on the clock. Here yeah, they come again. Scotching ball inside. Control deep. A shot for the free and ball. It's in. Now that is the goal of the season. Paul Mocherezzi scores the beauty of a response in this match. You cannot see many of those goals in this Uganda league. But what a goal coming in from Mucherezi and the two coaches of the Uganda Cranes accept that goal. Yeah, great goal it is and it came at the right time. Now you can say cases are still in this. Great goal it is, great goal it is, but poor defending from the Venoms. Just look at Asiku Actually, follow it and it's poor goal Shaban. keeping. Sorry about that. It is Shaban Mohamed that scores. It's Milton Kalisa. What a push is it? Timothy Awani. Mm, Kalisa. That is surely a yellow card to him. He's played more of that throughout the game and now has to go into the referee's book. Such, such a dirty player in this game because he's done that a lot. And this time, Timothy Awani had won the ball square. There's no need for Kalisa to come in for that. He's receiving a yellow card for, for nothing because it could actually prohibit him from playing the next game. One friend of mine used to call malaria time. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! <laughs> <laughs> Almost getting the keeper off guard. Charles Quago saves advantage Vipers. The 90th minute mark that can approach when they have a corner to their name. Well, well, just look at that. Geoffrey Waswa almost scores from his own backyard. Very lucky. Chance for KCC to do it right. Shaban fighting. This is Shaban. Already on a yellow card, Shaban Muhammad. He's already on a yellow card, Shaban. Let's so watch his temper. Mike Mutebi knows it is done and dusty. They're just leaving on seconds.
well, 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 well. Shaban, that is the kind of player he will clamber over you as the game goes by. Just Man of the moment is the referee. Suppression. The quad. And there you go. Edward Kolola has just beaten Mike Mutebi here. Spipers will be celebrating this for a long time, but does not guarantee them any success with the remaining three matches to go. Well, lit up with these goals, 3-2. Sechi Sambu, Milton Kalisa and Shaban Muhammad. Only three goal scorers here. It's a beautiful performance we've actually had.